This is the first time the monarch of Scotland has died in Scotland since the 16th century. So it, we were talking about being historic. It really is historic. Indeed, it is historic. And the significance, Rafe, as far as you're concerned, of just building on what David said there, the Queen passing in Scotland. Well, I can't help but reflect that when Her, Her Late Majesty, the, the Queen Mother, died in 2002, just before the uh, Golden Jubilee, prior to that, everybody had thought that the Golden Jubilee would be a damp... I'm going to stop myself there, because yeah. I can now see that uh, Her Majesty's coffin, draped in the royal standard of Scotland, uh, Her Majesty's personal standard, but with the uh, quarters of pretense bearing the uh, lion rampant of Scotland, has now been carried by the, her regiment, but without the Royal Company of Archers, who we will be seeing tomorrow in procession uh, from Holyrood House to St Giles Cathedral. So what's happening now then, Rafe? We've seen the funeral cortege pull up, and just as uh, although the vehicles were obscured slightly somewhat by a tree at the Palace of Holyrood, that is... The Queen there, isn't, uh, isn't it, being, uh, being taken inside? Yes, so as I said, no great uh, pomp and pageantry, uh, but a very solemn and dignified entry of, of, of Her Majesty into uh, what was her official residence in Scotland, where she would reside for a week, now for her last rest uh, in the throne room, also providing an opportunity for members of the royal household to have their last private audience with the Queen, to uh, pay their respects and pay homage and give their thanks before Her Majesty proceeds to St. Giles Cathedral and the opportunity for the wider public to pay their respects. Our viewers there being given a glimpse of the Queen's coffin. Nana, Nana Aquir joins me, GB News' very own Nana Aquir. Does that make it even more real? It's certainly just to me to actually see a sight that, despite the fact that I am significantly younger, of course, than uh, the monarch, I, I never thought I'd see the Queen inside the coffin there being carried inside to Holyrood House. It's, it's, such a historic, <clears throat> it's such a historic moment, isn't it, really? And to be able to have witnessed this event, all of the pomp and ceremony that went with it, all the tradition. I know that in places like America, and Canada, New Zealand, those places, it was, it, this is a real thing that um, you know, keeps the, the idea mm. of the monarchy alive. And I think really what we're witnessing is something, it's just a once-in-a-lifetime thing. It's quite a poignant thing. Gosh. And, you know, I, I'm, I, I feel honoured to be part of actually the programming and talking about it and being able to see it myself. It is a very solemn honour. If you're just joining us, we did show the Queen's coffin there being carried inside Holyrood House. And I must say, nothing really quite prepares you for that. It still doesn't feel quite real for me. The Queen has arrived now at Holyrood House.